Hey guys, we're uh, doing another dog walk. We got the whole pack tonight, and we'll see how long I can hold the phone. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, showing you some fun dog walkies. We've got a neighbor walking the dogs, so I'll keep my voice down so I don't look like too much of a weirdo. Kevin. Louie, come on. Good boy. Good boy, Louie. Bear, no play. Kevin. <sighs> they are, when the whole pack is together, they get all confident and crazy. They think they can take on the world. They think they're a pack of wolves or something. Little do they know they are very domesticated and reliant on me, but no, I'm, I'm sure they're perfectly tough on their own, but you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so we're just doing another dog walk. It was a good day. Really don't have any complaints. I made a, a funny video, a little silly video that I uploaded earlier. That really wasn't the intention of this channel to begin with, but um, bear, don't eat the neighbor's grass. Um, but you know, I, I guess in order to have people even know to watch anything, they have to, I guess, be attracted to your channel. I'm still learning the, I'm still learning the, the whole, you know, the whole, um, you know, spiel with YouTube and all these different platforms. I'm, um, I've actually never made, I just made an Instagram account for the first time in my life. So I don't, I think I might've had one, but I never used it. I don't even remember, but I, I all I know is I, as far as I know that I just made one like a couple days ago and actually started posting on it. So you guys can go on Primal Critters on Instagram as well. And I put some things on there. And, uh, yeah, it will just all depend on how much people want to watch my content. I'm not, uh, I'm just doing it, you know, to have memories of my dogs. I find it fun, and it's a great outlet, a great creative outlet for me. And, um, you know, my animals are my whole life, so I don't have children. So I have an excuse, you know, <clears throat> for those of my friends that are mothers, you know, they don't have, I mean, some mothers do have the time, but it's, it's very, for anyone that is a mother, I, I commend you. It is very, very time consuming, consuming, challenging, and just exhausting. So I'm very aware, um, that I'm, uh, in a unique position where I don't have to tend to a little human 24 7 and um although dogs are very time consuming um and demanding of your attention and affection and everything um it, it, it there is a difference obviously so um anyways so yeah so we're just taking a dog walk it's a beautiful night like i said here in california it's probably in the 60s i'm very blessed to ah! there's a lot of animal activity up in these you can see it's just completely it just all shrubs I mean not shrubs and vegetation and yeah so oh we're tangled up hold on I hope that coyote doesn't come by right now so yeah taking a dog walk with four dogs one human and one camera phone so wish me luck um other than that life is just dandy um i've got three cats and one of my cats is a seat well not a senior yet but he's getting up there in in, in years he's probably gosh i don't know 16 now 15 um kevin here this little chihuahua mix kevin the american super mutt that I like to call him. I, I have to do his DNA. I get questions all the time on him. Um, he's about 19 pounds. So he's a very large Chihuahua mix. Um, and he, Kevin, 
he clearly has, I mean, maybe Corgi, I don't know, I get, honestly, on the camera, it doesn't really do him justice, he's also older, he's probably eight and a half now, so, in his heyday, he was a stud, I mean, he's still, he's still hot stuff, he's still adorable, but, um, he's definitely slowly but surely aging, oh, sorry, baby, I'm sorry, baby, <laughs> I just kicked Bear in the nose, Bear the black one is a Labrador Belgian Malinois mix, Originally, they thought of Jim Shepard, uh, uh, Labrador mix, but there is no way in hell he is, excuse my language, he has the body type of a Belgian Malinois, but with the shorter legs of the Labrador, um, he has more of, he has the ears of the Malinois, which are, you know, smaller than the Shepherds, um, Gigi, I'm sorry, baby girl, um, you know, he has, uh, just the, uh, you know, a more petite stature than a German Shepherd. Um, he, a sl you know, they're, they're not as, uh, Belgian Malinois are not as bulky as, sh I mean, not bulky, uh, husky isn't the right word. I guess just muscular. They're not as, they're not as, uh, German Shepherds are larger dogs, you know. And so he's much more nimble and lean and agile. He's still young. He's about 14 months, as I've said in many videos. Um, he will probably fill out more. Uh, medium to large breed dogs usually don't stop growing until they're about three years old. So, you know, he's, he's in his teenage years right now. So he probably won't get much taller, maybe slightly. Um, but, uh, he will fill out a little bit. And, um, yeah, um, and, uh, yeah, he's a great dog. I'm, I'm really lucky to have him. I really, really am lucky to have him. Um, one of the best dogs I've ever, I mean, I always say that, but no, I don't always say that actually. I mean, I've had a lot of great dogs, but he's definitely a, a really well-tempered dog. He's not too nippy and annoying in the sense that he wants to bite you. I mean, he wants to bite a lot like a Malinois, but if you hire him out enough and give him enough stimulation, he'll cut it out. And of course, if you train him. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, there's someone walking by and, um, he, uh, what else? He, uh, he's just very, um, well tempered. He, he doesn't have any fear. And, you know, as an example, Louie here, the Cocker Spaniel, the extra curly American Cocker Spaniel, if you sh rattle something very loud in front of him, Louie will flinch and freak out. Like, as an, um, during um, this last summer when fireworks were going off all the time, Louie developed a penchant for going to the bathroom in the house, which is why we had to put pee pee pads down. Oh dear, I gotta clean up. I just had to go to the middle of the street. Poor Kevin. Um, I'll turn the camera off of him, give him some privacy. But, um, hold on, I gotta clean that up. Hold on, you guys. Oh. Okay, we got it. Um, he, uh, so yeah, Louie was afraid to go outside because of the loud noises. Bear here, on the other hand, if you rattle something loud in front of him, he has the typical reaction that a, a good, well-tempered German Shepherd or Belgian Malinois should. Um, and I only bring up German Shepherd because Malinois, you know, are similar to Shepherds. They're smaller. They have a slightly different temperament, but they're often used as protection dogs and in the military like the German Shepherd is. They're, they're classic working dogs. So, um, and they're sometimes mistaken for each other. Although, if someone is an enthusiast of either breed, they can easily tell the breeds apart. But someone that's not as familiar might just think it's a small German Shepherd. Um, anyways, or smaller. You know, some Malinois can be pretty large, but most, more, more often than not, they are smaller. Well, the, their breed type is small. I mean, they just are. The breed standard, they're smaller. So, um, anyways... Um, oh, so my point is, he definitely has that great temperament for what a protection dog or a guardian, guard dog 
should have. They shouldn't be afraid of stimuli, of sounds, of, of anything. And in fact, anything new, they shouldn't be scared of it. They should have a healthy, you know, appreciation for any new stimuli and then an interest. You know, they, so if, if they hear a sound outside your house, instead of running and hiding like Louis the Cocker would, I mean, granted, he'll, he'll bark his head off. But if it's a really scary sound to him, he'll, he'll shrink away. Bear will acknowledge the sound, you know, acknowledge that he's never heard it before. And then he'll go investigate, you know, so that, that's what, that's what a, a natural guard type dog would do. Any guard type, type dog with a great temperament. I mean, you know, Connie Corso, um, and there's a lot of different dogs that are bred to be more protection dogs, not, not only the German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois, um, although they're probably the most popular. Um, anyways, so yeah, he's got a great temperament. He's also very affable. He loves dogs. Sorry, Louis. Yeah, I'm sorry, baby. I stepped on him. Um, he loves dogs. He loves people. Although at night he is very leery of people, but, uh, that's normal. Uh oh, his girlfriend's here. Hold on. There's girlfriend's here. Got a. All right, so I cut that short to say hi to her. Um, picking back up where we left off. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, anyways, so he's a great dog. Then this is Gidget here, as I always introduce uh, our senior. She's hanging in there. She's, you know, on pain management. And look, Storm over there is. Oh, we've uh, awakened all the neighbor dogs. Okay, come on, you guys. Gidget over there. Um, you know, she's she's hanging in there. Um, for a 16-year-old dog, I mean, she's, she for, you know, as I've always said, a dog her size, uh, you know, in the th upper 30s uh, pounds, uh, she's holding up very well very healthy and um as i said she's actually got some belgian malinois in her airedale terrier border collie and boston terrier and um, her coloring is that of the airedale she also has kind of the ears of the airedale but she doesn't have the hair um she has a little bit of the body type of the welsh terrier mixed with like malinois i mean she's just a total mutt but She's incredible. She is outstanding, this dog. No fear. So tough. So tough. Hi, Gigi. Right, Gigi? And then we have Louie. Little Louie. Crazy Louie. The Cocker Spaniel. He just wants to be your companion. And so, yeah. All right, you guys. If you guys have any interest in videos and have any questions about what it's like to live with four dogs and three cats, please ask in the comments um if this channel grows i'll be happy to you know develop more content or post more um i don't want to post too many videos if no one's interested so <laughs> anyways i hope everyone has a great night and uh yeah take it easy good night